Hey guys, this is uh, Cruz Roy again. Um, with the Turnigy TGY9X, um, I did an EL panel, as you can see. Um, what that entails is you need some uh, heat shrink tubing, of course, your tools, you know, miscellaneous tools. Some uh, wire cutters, some wire cutters, and of course wire, and um, then from uh, you have to ship these out from Hong Kong. Um, the EL panel is pretty neat. It's a uh, strip of paper that lights up. Um, as you can see, it's just a uh, green sheet. It kind of lights up. And but you need a an inverter to change AC to DC, and that's a little inverter. They just packed it in here, but it kind of looks like this. All right, it's a 12 volt EL power inverter. Uh, you can find them on eBay. Um, I'm just gonna put this one away. The thing is. Uh, when I did the uh, mod, which ain't too bad, you have to open up the uh, radio and uh, do some soldering with some wires, and you got to find the correct position on the radio to solder to, and you know heat shrink everything so you don't have any problems with power problems. Um, someone said, "Why don't you buy the one from Hobby King?" Uh, it's four ninety nine, and. Uh, you know, you don't need to solder. You know, you got to solder the uh, EL panel all together and solder it to the uh, PC board on the uh, Turnigy. So, if you haven't played with these tools before, uh, it could be a big mistake. Uh, so, someone said, like I said, why don't you use the one from Hobby King? So, lo and behold, uh, it was uh, it was on back order, but it finally came in. Now, supposedly, there's no instructions, but they do have uh, videos uh, at hobbyking.com uh, on how to install it. It supposedly plugs into one of the connectors and you gotta plug the original connector from the PCB board back into this area here. I did notice it the minute I got it that the heat shrink tape is all on top of it so it's gonna need to be cleaned up to fit the plug in there. It comes with another piece of foam tape and um, and if you unwrap it, what it is, it's an LED uh, circuit board that uh, Turnigy's created for their radio. Uh, it's got a thin, thin coat of tape here that I got to take off before I push it towards the LCD screen. Um, but it's pretty thick. You know, the EL panel is like a piece of paper, so little bit different getting it in there so that's why they give you this foam you have to peel off the old foam and put in the new foam and put this piece in and plug it in now I just wanted to do it on video to see how easy or hard it is to do it uh, so let me uh, shut this radio off clean up the workspace alright and the thing is, is this one's done EL panel battery mod um, so the other day I picked up a different um, okay so the I mean the other day I have a second Turnigy uh, the reason for this one is uh, I wanted the smaller antenna it doesn't have the long range antenna on it and if you notice uh, no EL panel um, I did buy the Yale panel for it, but I want to try the um, the Hobby King version that they already make, and it's four dollars and ninety nine cents. I mean, you can't beat it. It's a weight, you know, has to come over on the big ship from uh, Hong Kong, Kong. But I got it air mail actually. Um, so, but also the other day, let's open it up here. Uh, I picked up a different. Uh, type of battery I wanted to try it out the rhinos in the other one and this is a blue lipo and same thing you have to modify it 
you have to modify the battery with the uh, the three cell uh, balance connector same thing solder them on and there you go transmitter but it's a blue light pole this time instead of the rhino I wanted to see which one is uh, better for the radio and which one lasts longer okay so now take the battery out make some room uh, what you gotta do is take out one two three four five six screws okay guys uh, I'm just putting you through a little time warp here to remove all the screws to remove the back cover of the Turnigy 9X Okay, tap the case, make sure all the screws tip out, one, two, three, four, five, I'm missing one, and six, alright, so, gently open up the cover, get it up here let me get the light on all right what well, you notice is this wiring harness right here you need to remove that so it's out of your way and very gently very gently okay I'll just take that and put it somewhere safe all right now now that we got a rope in it's this connector here that we need to use so we'll disconnect that right now all right so that one's disconnected you have screws on this PCB board. Let's remove them. Okay, this is just another time warp. Uh, removing all the screws from the PCB board. Just be uh, very careful not to crack the PCB board. Um, the circuit board is very delicate and there's a lot of wires in this area to watch out for. Uh, just remember where all your plugs go if you have to mark them with a little magic marker. Uh, that also works, but um, you, you should do okay, you know, it's time consuming, just take your time, uh, there's no rush, and uh, you'll get the job done. Okay, now that we got it open, there's your LCD. Um, on the EL panel, some people tell you to get the silver stuff off, but you don't have to. That EL panel is very bright. You don't have to peel anything off, just leave it alone. Same thing with um, the new Hobby King. You don't have to peel anything off there. The only thing is, they tell you to look for the peel and stick paper. See this peel and stick paper here? Uh, once you take that off, this is the side that faces the LCD. So you put it down on the, the LCD. Just like so. And take this wire and feed it up behind the board. So it's up here, but OK. 
Okay, now you have to watch, there's a loop of wires right here, I don't know why they came out that way, but you have to watch it when you put it back together. Um, they say it can go around the buttons. As long as it isn't where the leg's gonna punch in these little little uh, buttons, as long as they miss them, they'll be fine. So you just reroute the wires so, so they're not touching anything. Um, next thing, I'm gonna try to peel off this thick sponge. Okay, just another time warp on the uh, removing of the foam from the circuit board. Uh, on Hobby King's uh, video uh, it seems to come off very easily um, but as you notice uh, everything I try here you just uh, but you gotta be careful you can crack this circuit board right in half and uh, it's not really gonna be a good thing so take your time uh, I'm using the rub technique with my fingers I'm just trying to rub off uh, any of this foam, uh, the adhesive is pretty good um, and then I try a little heat with a hair dryer and um, uh, scissors or anything like that was just to help grab the foam but uh, here I am using a little heat um, it's a pretty good adhesive the heat's not even bothering it or softening it up and I mean I'm just using a hair dryer I don't want to use a heat gun or anything you'll crack it but just some mild heat uh, that didn't help and then the next thing was rubbing alcohol which does not hurt circuit boards uh, they clean circuit boards all the time so I'm using a little bit of alcohol to rub on to the circuit board to try to remove the excess foam I do get probably about 92% off. Uh, uh, it's just a little bit of residual there, but I could not get it completely off like they did in the Hobby King video. And um, it's just a little extra there. It wasn't much, so the residual should be fine. And like I said, just, just take your time and watch those little buttons. There's six little buttons that control all your setups. And uh, if you push the wrong way, you can knock one of those right off the circuit board and uh, you'll have a lot of fun resoldering on one of those. Let's put this on and get it over with. Make sure you put the foam that they give you back in the same spot as the existing one was. It's just thinner and hopefully the residual don't crack the LCD when I put it back down. Alright, so everything, just make sure this is all laying flat, the LCD and the LED new control board. And like I said, all these four buttons, they put the wires coming out of the side of their little uh, LED block here. Just make sure you're not blocking where the pin has to go. Like here, it looks like the black one is right in the wrong position. Okay, now remember to put any of your buttons that fall out back in. Gently spin this back into place. 